Here, so oh, is this the lecture hall with Seymour Hirsch? I, I just, I'm looking for the one with Seymour Hirsch because it's a policy and press hall event. So shouldn't we be talking about the Nord Stream since that's the biggest story of the century? And you guys, you know, I'm sorry. I mean, you have the executive editor of the New York Times there who came out with a phony story to try and block Seymour Hirsch. It just, it's just kind of funny how that happened, you know? I mean, did you even acknowledge Seymour Hirsch? All of you are executive editors of papers that broke Pentagon, Me Lai, Watergate. Is this the same papers or not? I mean, is there anything you've gotten right in the last 20 years or am I mistaken about that? I mean, it's just kind of funny because Iraq, wrong. Syria, wrong. Russiagate, really wrong. Okay, I mean, the list goes on and on. So the last thing you could do to try and actually fix your reputation is acknowledge that through leaks, we had to find out that Zelensky was going to bomb Moscow on the anniversary. I mean, if you're so impartial, shouldn't you at least say, right, that Zelensky was going to bring us on the verge of World War III? That seems pretty fair. While Julian Assange rots in prison, all of you've got, you know, fat checks because he's in jail for doing your job. And you know what, Tucker Carlson ain't no Seymour Hirsch, but he did something you guys are scared to do, speak the truth and actually be critical of the war, which is why he was actually fired from Fox, because you are all cowards, every single one of you. None of you have actually had any relevancy. And you know what, the mainstream press is now dying. Nobody's ever going to listen to you again. You have no credibility with the public. The only people who care about what you have to say are elite assholes who have nothing productive to say anymore. And it's dying off. So will you at least say something either about Nord Stream or Ukraine or the fact that Zelensky brought us to the verge of World War III and the only reason we knew about that was through leaks? I'm, go ahead. It's a free speech event, right? You guys are the press. Let's say something here. Mr. Khan, come on. You know, you're the executive head of the New York Times, you know? I'm just trying to get into some good trouble here, man. Woo. Listen, Karen, get out of my face for a second. I got to talk to these gentlemen. <clears throat> well, I just want to hear what they have to say. Go ahead. I'm done. Wait your turn. Wait your turn. They're not going to tell them to you. Come. Wait your turn. You could, you could project if we can. I think it's important to hear everybody's point of view. Yeah. So thank you. All right. I do think that we need to give uh, our moderator a chance to ask other questions. We're on the verge of World War III. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Also do so. Let's go. Really? Let's go. You. Say something about this bombing. We blew up the Nord Stream pipeline. Let's go. Let's go. Listen, don't stand there while there are people rotting in prison. Nobody said anything about Uhuru, right? The socialists who are in jail for being critical of this war. God damn it. At least say something about the people in jail for being critical of this war. They don't deserve to be in prison right now!